What's up fellow gamers, for this video we're going to talk about how to install the Legend of Zelda Remastered Pack for the Mason Emulator. For this pack there's actually a couple things you need to be aware of. The first is you're going to want to make sure that you have the correct version of Mason installed. It's actually a developmental version of Mason. The latest stable release at the time of this video actually doesn't work and that was released earlier in 2020. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And the other thing you're going to want to be mindful of is to make sure you have the correct version of the Legend of Zelda ROM. Now I'm not going to be able to show you how to get the ROM, that's for legal reasons, but what I can do is tell you, help you find out if you have the right version on hand. And the easiest way to do that is to just go ahead and open up the game and, you know, die and then get to your continue screen. And if your continue screen on your ROM looks like this, you actually don't have the correct version. Uh, if it has this little warning down here, if it looks like this, you have the correct version, you should be good to go for this next step. So hopefully you have some luck there. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the correct version of Mason. And again, if if the, the best way to get Mason changes, I'll try to update the link in the description below. But as of today, you can get it on Mason's website still. And you just go to this download button here. Um, you don't click on this button here, sorry. And this is the latest stable release. What you're actually going to want to do is go to the developmental builds. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on this here, and it should download the developmental build of Mason on, into my downloads. The other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you download the Eagerware Hasher if you run into any problems. And I'll show you how to use this in just a minute here. So I'm going to download that as well. And I'll have a link for both of these in the description. And another thing you'll have in, I'll have in the description is a link to the actual HD pack. Uh, I've actually already downloaded it to save some time. And again, that'll be in the, the description. And so when all is said and done, uh, you should have the actual ROM. You should have a copy of Mason. And uh, you should have the actual a HD pack and the Eagerware Hasher program. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and I, what, what I like to do is actually move everything to uh, a new folder to kind of keep everything organized to get out of my downloads. And then the first thing I usually do is just open up Mason right away. Uh, I like to store it in the same folder as the application. I have a controller, which I'm just going to connect now. And I don't like to create a shortcut, shortcut on my desktop, so I'm not going to do that and hit confirm. Again, that should create a bunch of folders here. Now, if you haven't done this before, uh, you're going to want to go to Input under Options, hit Setup, and then bind your controller keys. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that step. But the another thing you're going to want to do is go to Open, and then Locate Your ROM. And then you can close out. Now, the reason I did that is because it just created a folder here called HD Packs. So what you can do is uh, move the, the remastered pack over to the HD packs folder. Now there is an install option, but I've noticed it's sometimes kind of buggy, so I like to do it manually. But move it over to the HD packs. You can right click, and if you have a program like 7-Zip, uh, you can ex extract here. All right, so we don't need this anymore. We don't need the README, and we don't need these alternate files. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to want to create a folder that has the exact same name as your ROM. So I'm going to go back here, and mine's called Zelda Remastered. I'm going to hit Control C, C Packs, New Folder, Control V. All right. So and move the pack inside then right click and hit extract here all right that should be all that's required to install it so again that was the manual way to do that uh if there there is actually an automatic way but um I've, again i've noticed it's kind of buggy uh but um there's more way to more ways than one to do this so if everything worked out uh, the way that I'm hoping it does for you, you should just be able to open up Mason again, go to File, Open, and then open your ROM, and it should look a little bit different this time. 
and should uh, take a little bit of time to boot up because it's actually kind of a larger pack, so when there's a pause here, that's actually normal, don't worry. And that's how it should actually look. Now, if it doesn't look like that, if it doesn't look like that, well, the next thing you can do is open up that a hasher program that I talked about. So you can right click on this RAR file. Uh, you can unzip that as well. So I'm just gonna go to extract here. We don't need this anymore. We'll click on hasher. And you go to browse and actually find your ROM. And hit calculate. So this is the, the number that you actually need to pay attention to, this SHA-1. So again, this is uh, some troubleshooting if it doesn't show up like it, I, uh, like I saw in that example there. So you can go to HD Packs, Elder Remastered, and then if you scroll down, there should be a, a file inside called highres.txt. We're going to double click on that. And then if you scroll to the very, very bottom, and scroll up a little bit, uh, there should be where it says here start of sound patch. Uh, there's patch Zelda HD dot IPS. So if this number is a if this is a little bit different than your number here, what you can do is hit highlight this and hit Control V and then Control V and then file save and that might actually get it to work. Now, no guarantees, um, you know, the obviously your best odds are if it works right off the bat, but if it doesn't, you can try that, and you can try reopening that. And um, that's really all there is to it. I hope you found this video useful, and uh, you enjoy the pack, and uh, happy gaming. See ya.